Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how I made my Japanese schoolgirl outfit. So first I started with some fabric from Walmart. I cut it into um, two really long strips and they're about 18 inches wide and the width of the fabric. Then I folded it over and hemmed it, gave it like an inch inseam. Then I added white uh, bias tape for the lines and I sewed those on and then I pleated it. And one side I did box pleats and one side I did um, regular pleats, like knife pleats. Then that was the waistband. Then I sewed it together. Then I sewed uh, the Velcro to the waistband. So I sewed the pleated sides to each other, then I sewed them to the waistband, and then I sewed the vel Velcro. And that's how that looks. And then I'm going to be making the little sleeve cuffs, like the cuffs that go on the sleeves. Um, Basically, I just took some fabric that's about like five, six inches wide, and then I folded it over, sewed it over. Now I'm taking it and measuring it around the width of my arm, and I just kind of eyeball it, take it off, cut it, leave a bit of an inseam, or seam allowance, I mean. And then I'm going to sew two white stripes on it to match the bottom of my skirt, just like that. And I'm just using white bias tape. And that's what that looks like. Then I'm going to sew the um, ends together, right side facing in. Then I'm taking a cheap old white t-shirt that I had and I'm going to hem it and uh, make it tighter. So I'm just taking the insides, uh, taking them in a bit. Now I'm making the collar and I'm just taking a piece of white fabric and some of that remaining blue fabric. And um, I did like this big U shape like that and now for this I'm actually using stitch witchery um, it's like tape and you put your iron on it and it uh, works like a sewing machine so in case you don't have a sewing machine you can use this I just wanted to test it out um, now I'm making the bow so I cut out two pieces for the main part and it's like a square that's like five inches by nine inches and then um, and I sewed those together and then I pinched it together like pinch the middle together and sewed that and then I cut out two long strips and um, you can do these to whatever measurement you want I, so technically I cut out four pieces and sewed them together and then I'm just um, like sewing them together tying a knot and then I'm going to attach that to the main bow uh, now I'm taking a little piece of cardboard and I'm going to cover it in yellow fabric and this is to keep my bow stiff, like to keep the shape of my bow. I do this for all of my cosplay bows. Um, now I'm going to assemble all the pieces. So I've got that back bow, like the back stiff cardboard piece, and then a small piece that's going to hold it all together, and the main bow. So got to let that dry a little bit. And so I'm going to place that on top and pull that around, get it nice and tight, and you can kind of adjust. And then before I glue it down, I'm using some stretchy, um, I'm using elastic, and then I'm also giving myself the option to have a safety pin, so I can either pin it on or just wear it like a necklace with the elastic, depending on what kind of um, collar it's going to be worn with. Then I just glue that together. Sorry if this video doesn't make any sense, I was just trying to go fast, but I decided to add a voiceover after I had filmed and edited it, edited it, that's a really hard word to say. Um, yeah, so that's what it looks like being worn as a necklace. And um, that's the whole look. And those were just some old stockings that I had, I just cut the top off, and so they look uneven right there, but I had to pull them up. And these glasses were 99 cents from eBay. My shoes were from Walmart, they were $5. So altogether, this costume cost like less than $10. And that's an old wig that I got for $5. And um, I have pink hair right now, naturally. So it's partially my hair and partially a wig. So, but since it's the same color, it's kind of hard to tell. You can't tell in this part, but my skirt has two different, it's like a front and a back. There's front pleats and back pleats. Okay, I'm going to actually end it here. So thank you so much for watching my Lucky Star Japanese Schoolgirl tutorial. And here's some cringy dancing. And stay tuned for more easy cosplay DIY videos. 